and just recognizing me being from New York, giving me the key to the city. Diddy finally has the key to the city. Big breaking news tonight. For the first time in the history of New York City, a sitting mayor has been indicted for crimes. ABC News reporting that Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted by a federal grand jury. We do not know yet the exact charges. Federal authorities have been investigating Adams and members of his staff, issuing subpoenas for documents and cell phones. Several members of administration have been res have resigned, some of them also friends of Mayor Adams. Again, Eric Adams, the 110th mayor of New York, has been indicted by a federal grand jury. Well, breaking news, guys. <laughs> Mayor Eric Adams of New York has just been indicted by the Southern District of New York. This is the same district, the same U.S. attorneys who are going after Diddy. And I find it so interesting that he is the one who gave Diddy the keys of the city of New York City last year. And then all this craziness have has started. But we are seeing more people fall. Now, this doesn't relate to Diddy directly, at least not yet. But we know him and Mayor Adams are very close. But let me give you the details and just give you all the all these little snippets. And then I also want to show you that he is supposed to surrender himself tomorrow. I actually have that document that I'm going to pull up and show you. So let's get into this story. Wow. Eric Adams has been charged federal by federal prosecutors in Manhattan, a stunning blow to the first term mayor who once proclaimed himself the future of the Democratic Party. The precise charges are not publicly known as the indictment remains under seal. The indictment caps a year of deepening legal and political peril for the city's second black leader, rewriting the story of his first campaign for City Hall and casting a pall over his bid for a second term. In the past two weeks, Adams has lost his top legal advisor, his police commissioner, his school chancellor, and his health commissioner. The move from prosecutors working for Damian Williams, again, that is the U.S. attorney going after Diddy, um, the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York comes just weeks after his office executed a series of raids on top aides of the Adams administration, including two deputy mayors mayors and the police commissioner at the time, many of whom have close and personal relationships with the mayor. And so they're giving live updates. And just so you know, it's this, it's all stemming around him taking foreign money. All right. And I'll get back to that, but let me show you the actual, like where he is actually supposed to surrender. This is inner city press. They do great work. They did. He did a lot of great work on Diddy and in many other cases, because if you know, in federal court and in the Southern district of New York and New York, you are not allowed to have cameras in the courtroom. So everything has to be done old school. That's what they have sketches and they have to have reporters that go in there and actually take notes. They do not allow cameras, but he's great at keeping people abroad rest on what's going on and even giving kind of like a, a light transcript of what is said in court. Um, but he has here, well, if this does happen, we'll be there in the Southern District of New York live to live tweet it. But this is the tweet he's responding to. The city council's Republican minority leader has deleted this tweet posted a few minutes ago. Just to be clear, the mayor's office did not send out this schedule for tomorrow. His office hasn't sent out any schedule for tomorrow yet. And usually that schedule is already out but he has no schedule, but this is the document. Eric Adams to surrender to the feds. This is a deleted tweet. Um, and it's, this is uh, from the New York City Mayor's press office. So it looks like this came out and then they just, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Um, but Wednesday, September 24th at 9.01 p.m., uh, this is to Spencer Pete, the public schedule for Mayor Eric Adams for Thursday, September 26, 2024. But it says here, uh, press schedule, approximately 9.30 a.m. surrenders to federal authorities on, 20, on a 26 count indictment. They literally have his thing. Now it says at approximately 4.45 p.m., he is going to resign from office. This is insane. 
He has been investigated for quite, for some time now. There's been rumblings of things. He was very disgruntled that he didn't um, get to be at the Democrat, didn't get to speak at the Democratic National Convention. People were avoiding him. And many believe, or he believes, okay, in fact, let me take you to his statement and then we're gonna get into why he believes this and then why he's being, um, targeted, you know, he, he think he believes he's been targeted. So we'll get his statement and then also get into a little bit more details on what's happening. My fellow New Yorkers, it is now my belief that the federal government intends to charge me with crimes. If so, these charges will be entirely false based on lies, but they would not be surprising. I always knew that if I stood my ground for all of you, that I would be a target. And a target I became. For months, leaks and rumors have been aimed at me in an attempt to undermine my credibility and paint me as guilty. Just this past week, they searched the home of our new police commissioner, looking for documents from 20 years ago just one week after he joined my administration. Enough. I will fight these injustices with every ounce of my strength and my spirit. If I'm charged, I know I am innocent. I will request an immediate trial so the New Yorkers can hear the truth. New Yorkers know my story. They know where I come from. I have been fighting injustice my entire life. That fight has continued as your mayor. Despite our pleas, when the federal government did nothing as its broken immigration policies overloaded our shelter system with no relief, I put the people of New York before party and politics. Now, if I am charged, many may say I should resign because I cannot manage the city while fighting the case. I can also understand how everyday New Yorkers would be concerned that I cannot do my job while I face accusation. But I have been facing these lies for months since I began to speak out for all of you and their investigation started. Yet the city has continued to improve. Make no mistake, you elected me to lead this city and lead it, I will. I humbly ask for your prayers and your patience as we see this through. God bless you and God bless the city of New York. Thank you. Our prayers, sir, sir, really? And New York City has improved. It's in the worst state it's ever been with this migrant crisis. Remember when you were so excited for the migrants to come there and you welcomed them with open arms? Guys, I'm gonna get into that in another video. This is very late. I just wanna break this news. But again, this is he's saying that he's been targeted by the Biden administration, by the Democratic Party, because he was complaining about the migrant crisis. And you know, this is an election year. They did not like him being vocal and speaking out against these migrants that have taken up billions of dollars from the taxpayers and have essentially decimated business and the economy in New York City. And where a lot of communities, especially Especially black and brown communities have been overrun by illegal immigrants taking away resources and it has just become untenable New York is not the same New York I was actually in New York um, I've been to New York several times over the past couple of years and it has fallen down it has become like you go to Times Square I mean Times Square is usually crazy but it's all you see are migrants in the streets crowded with people who you could tell are just not just visitors Right. And it's not that we're against anyone coming over here as an immigrant, but it's the illegal migrants that have come to United States. And it's so crazy. They wanted all of these illegal uh, immigrants, illegal migrants, whatever way you want to call that illegal aliens. And they wanted them to come and wanted to criticize anyone who spoke out against this, say that you are, you know, you're a racist, you're this, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're some type of phobic and is, you know, if you do not want them to come over here, if you do not want them taking over the resources of your city. So it is very interesting that he is coming against 
the current administration, including Kamala Harris, because she was the border czar, is the border czar currently. So now let's, let me show you this next thing. And this is where you, there's other people that have been calling on him to resign. AOC is one of those in particular, which I find really crazy because she's the main person that thinks, I mean, she's at the point where she thinks citizens should be able to walk over here you know, and be handed credit cards, be given the keys to the city, just like Diddy and, you know, be even be able to vote. She has been one of the most vocal proponents of these illegal migrants, illegal immigrants. And now suddenly she wants him to resign as well because he spoke out against this. But the reason why he's even, he's unpopular in New York right now. People don't like him because of that. But let me take you to that video. We are gonna bring you now more news, uh, more New York officials calling on Mayor Eric Adams to resign here uh, because of all of this. I wanna put this up. Uh, you see there from the New York Times that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said Eric Adams should resign as mayor of New York City for the good of the city uh, because she becomes the most prominent Democrat to push for his ouster amid federal corruption investigations involving his administration. So uh, AOC says this, I do not see how Mayor Adams can continue governing New York City. The flood of resignations and vacancies are threatening government function. Nonstop investigations will make it impossible to recruit and retain a qualified administration. Uh, that's just part uh, of her statement there on social media. Linda Schmidt has the new statement, Mayor Eric Adams firing back at AOC here. We have it, let's take that live here, let's take that full. This is how Mayor Adams is responding to this. Saying for anyone who self-righteously claims people charged with serious crimes should not be in jail, to now say that the second black mayor of New York should resign because of rumors and innuendo without even a single charge being filed is the height of hypocrisy. I am leading this city to protect it from exactly that kind of phony politics. The people of this city elected me to fight for them and I will stay and fight no matter what. Okay, we are getting some breaking news in right now. This is quite something. Okay, this is coming to us from the New York Times uh, and this is quite stunning. I had just said in this entire story that we have been covering that no indictments, no charges had yet been filed in all of this scandal going on in New York City, in the mayor's office, City Hall, the NYPD, the New York City Public Schools, the New York Times has it right now that Mayor Eric Adams of New York City was indicted following a federal corruption investigation. That's according to people briefed on the case here. This is breaking right now. This is quite stunning here. Uh, we just read out that statement from the mayor firing back at AOC, AOC becoming the first New York member of Congress to call on Adams to resign. There are though in Albany, several state lawmakers who have already done just that. So it's crazy. They were actually talking about the story and him beefing with her and the break. And he's saying, I haven't been charged. And then boom, <laughs> and the indictment came down right after he made this statement. So this is crazy, guys. I will be following up tomorrow morning. Um, again, it's very late. So I just wanted to get this out there. There's a lot of details to discuss. We, hopefully they unseal the indictment so we can see what he's been charged with. And then we're going to take a look back at Mayor Adams and what led to this point and why New York is, you know, a cesspool at this point. It is just ground zero for everything that is going wrong with the migrant crisis. Well, we know Texas and the border there and the just the border states in general, but we know as far as, you know, people who have not been affected by the migrant crisis, see, it's easy to vote in these policies and say we're open doors and everyone is welcome and we love everyone. And if you don't like it, remember, if you build the wall, then you're a racist. If you, if you, you know, if you don't let them come over, if you say that they're gangs and that they're hurting people and uh, essaying women, then when well, you're a racist and you're a bigot, but it seems to be that those things have come to pass. I just find it hilarious because I think, man, 
Mayor Adams is a turd. I think he is, you know, everything wrong with politics. There's a lot of people wrong, but he's definitely uh, one of those people that's everything wrong. He just seems like a slime ball, consummate politician, just a gross guy in general. And I'm actually very happy that he is being indicted because he has done a shoddy job with New York City. But keep in mind, that's who has been voted in. So you're going to get whatever it is you vote for. But with that, guys, leave a comment below. I'm going to add some updates as well to my other channel, Melanie Offscript. Make sure you click the link in the description box. You're going to want to be subscribed to that channel because I'm going to bring some more information over there as well. I'm trying to grow that channel. So it really helps me out if you could subscribe. And with that, I will see you guys very soon on the next one. Bye.